Hello and welcome to Scoff. We're the Scoff team. I'm Murray. I'm Alex. Hello, konnichiwa, namaste. Whoa, how you doing? Exactly, Alex. 2015 is nearly over. And what a year it's been. And Scoff has been there through the entire time bringing you some of the best food and drink recipes and that are perfect for parties. Yeah, so whilst we were looking for a little bit of inspiration on the interwebs, we did come across some videos that were ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. They were ridiculous. Yeah. So, in keeping with our theme, much like the countdown to midnight, without Alex weeping in a corner, we thought we'd bring you some of the best, worst videos that we found and we're desperate to show you. So, starting at number five, because where else is there to start? How to store champagne properly. Of course it is. Of course it is. So, how to store... Hi, I'm Andy Ian Bell from Inver RT1 to work. Hang on a minute. Why is he Scottish? Where are we? Which is very, very important if you actually want to enjoy some lovely bubble. Why is this kill over the table now? Bottle. Store the champagne on its side. Or smooth. So this guy is smooth. Only take out the wine rack when you're actually going to put it into the fridge before you're going to serve it. He's so lazy, he hasn't even taken the instructions out of the fridge. In every bottle of champagne, and that makes it very, very delicate and deserves some respect. It deserves respect. It's the drink he's talking about, right? Since we successfully managed to store the champagne, it's also well worth knowing exactly when to drink the champagne. I know exactly when the right time is to drink champagne. It's right after my gran asked me for the fifth time why I still didn't have a girlfriend. With a traditional non-vintage champagne. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I was just enjoying my champagne. Yeah, I know. What a thrill ride of a video that was. Anyway, after champagne, we move on to a fancier drink. The cocktail. <laughs> what better way? of seeing in the new year, then with a delicious cocktail called the... How to make a green drink. Ugh. Ooh, lovely. Let's have a look. Hi, my name's Kim, and I work for Be At One Cocktail Bars, and today I'm making a green drink. Very specific there, guys. What exactly is a green drink? Green isn't exactly a desired look in a cocktail or any food, unless you're Bruce Banner. Cocktail glass, and I'm just going to set this to one side to chill. Let's get started on building the ingredients. So put your one ounce Midori into your glass. There's some pretty funky jazz that's going on in there. It's like an old adult video. Not that I've ever seen one. So that was number four, and now you know how to make a lovely green drink. Yeah, yum. So you got your cocktail, you got your champagne. What you now need for midnight is some nibbles. Peanuts! What? Peanuts! 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 E yeah. Peanuts! That's number three. It's uh Peanuts! Peanuts. Hi there, I'm Matt from the Underground Cookery School and today I'm going to do a video cookery lesson for you. Now the reason that we've included this recipe in our countdown is because, well, oh, it's just so boring. How to roast peanuts. It's incredibly simple. Um, Much like the blandness of a monkey nut itself. shell, this clip um, is a bore show. It's from most supermarkets. Originally came from Peru. Um, Why does the simplicity now, of common, roasting a peanut um, need to be done in a professional um, chef's um, kitchen? In the US and India, but, but actually the most um, beans, uh, nuts, right? Which is it, mate? Beans or peanuts? I am confused beans. now. Yeah. Um, all we're going to do here is um, throw these in the oven. Now I'm going to put the oven at about 180 degrees, and we're going to leave them in there for between... 12 to 18 minutes, something like that. And what I bet this bloke has a whole load of cooking skills up his sleeve. And what's he doing here? Do Roasting peanuts. He's bored. We're bored. So this whole courtroom's bored. Peanuts! Peanuts are boring. In about uh, seven or eight minutes, just to give them a good old turn. So now it's New Year's Day, and you've got stinking hangover, and you've broken about 30 resolutions already. What you need is a fluorescent orange drink made by the happiest man alive. What he said. And number two is hangover juice. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. 
We've come to Fushi. See, what I like here is that the voiceover lady is using a smooth tone of voice, so she knows that everyone that's watching this is so hungover. This juice will help you recover after a heavy night out. Look how happy he is. He clearly didn't go out on New Year's Eve so that he could stay in and save you. Half a lemon and two oranges. Step two, chop. Cut up the carrots. Cut the lemon in half. Ooh, this gives a bit bright, isn't it? If I was hungover, this would hurt my tiny little brain. Lemons relieve cold and flu symptoms and can also relieve heartburn. Fushi recommends adding a dash of hangover tincture to the glass before you pour. This one contains chamomile flowers, Siberian ginseng, licorice, milk thistle, and willow. Milk thistle and willow? Is this for a hangover or polyjuice potion? Step five. Pour and serve. Done. So we've reached the top spot and whilst we're in the world of the hangover, there's only one universal cure. It's the mighty. It's the meaty bacon sandwich. Oh, I thought you were talking about... No. Ah. And you may be thinking, why do I need a recipe for this? Bread, butter, bit of brown sauce, bacon. That's it, right? And you'd be right. This video is pretty basic. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Gail and Jill, cooks at the award-winning Blacksmith Cafe in Hastings, are going to show us how to cook this British classic. Who are these two ladies? Bacon experts, the Lord of Bacon, bacon Kevin Bacons. Hang on a minute, why does it take two people to make a bacon sandwich? You will need. You can cook bacon to your preference. The longer you cook it, the more golden and crispy it will get. I mean, eventually, after you keep cooking it, it Stay will be burnt and black. Don't listen bread. to her lies, Murray. I won't, Alex. Take two slices of bread and butter them. Remove the bacon rashes from the pan and place them on a slice of bread. And if you weren't killed by a hangover after celebrating the new year, then this video might kill you with fatigue and boredom. <sighs> What's Slice our video? Two equal halves. And serve. Well, that is all, folks. I know, sad times, we have reached the end of our countdown. But do remember, there's loads of party-themed, Christmas-themed, New Year's-themed, this-themed, that-themed recipe videos on our Scoff channel. Exactly. But until then, guys, have a fantastic New Year. I know we will be. I've got the hangover juice. I've got the green drink. Happy New Year, kids. Cheers. Mm. It tastes like feet. Oh, hurt. Oh. Mm.